Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to clone your capture card with your main display to maintain a solid 144 hertz or more while playing your game. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, guys. First thing you're going to want to do when you're on the PC that you want to do the cloning on you're going to want to open up your NVIDIA or AMD control panel. Now, the first thing you're going to hit inside this, you're going to click set up multiple displays and that's under the display tab. So it's a sub tab under the display tab, set up multiple displays. And as you can see, I have three displays technically. Third display right here is my Elgato. That's my capture card that's on my streaming PC. It's showing up as a third virtual display on my gaming PC. Now, Two is my main display, as you can see by the little asterisk, and one is my top display. This is what I use for my chat and all of that fun stuff. We're going to focus on cloning two and three together. So what you do is you right click, hit clone with three. And what that's going to do is that's going to merge the two together. So you hit apply. Always make sure you hit apply. Your screens are going to go black. Don't freak out or anything like that. I, I freak out every single time. So there we have that. Cloning is done. That's the easy part. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to adjust desktop size and position. That's the one right above set up multiple displays. Here is where we're going to let the GPU handle all of the allocating of the refresh rates. So what you're going to do here is it's going to you select your displays. So we're going to start with the first display, which is our main, and it's going to say, well, apply these following settings. We're going to do scaling. So make sure you're no scaling on the GPU and perform scaling on GPU. Make sure it's not display. Don't let the display do everything or else it will mess a lot of things up here. So we're gonna do display. The max resolution of my monitor is 1920 by 1080 and my max refresh rate is 140 or 144. I can do 120, 100, whatever. But if you have a graphics card that can do it, set it to the max refresh rate and just let it fly. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is your Elgato. Same thing applies here, no scaling override uh, perform scaling on GPU, resolution 1920 by 1080, and then of course I run the HD60 Pro, mine's gonna be 60 hertz. If you have a 4K60 or if you have an Aver Media that can handle the 240 hertz, you can set those here. Now, if you have a third monitor, fourth monitor, whatever, go ahead and set those to the same settings as the other monitors if they will allow it. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, do just do 60 hertz, whatever. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is we're going to change our resolutions here. I'm only focusing on my main display. That's the only one I really care about running at the max refresh rate because that's the one I game on. So here we're going to, it's probably gonna default you to the native resolution. We don't want that because it only locks you in at 60 hertz. You want to scroll down just a little bit to where it says PC. Do 1920 by 1080 and it's going to unlock your max refresh rate. Hit use default color settings and then hit apply. Yes, it's going to flash there again. It's not going to go black, but it will flash a little bit and boom, you now have 144 hertz on this monitor and 60 hertz on your Elgato. The way to verify that is hit your Elgato and everything is grayed out. You can't change anything here because it is kind of a slave display to whatever this your main display is. Another way to verify this is go back to the Elgato in your adjust desktop size and position and make sure it still says 60 hertz. As long as it says that, you're golden and you're ready to go. All right, guys. So that was a quick and easy way for you to clone your capture card to your main gaming display. Now you can do this on a single PC stream and it will allocate a lot more resources for you to be able to run the game at the max refresh rate and be able to encode a 60 FPS stream and not get frame stutters because a lot of the times on a single PC stream, you will have to lock the game at the max refresh rate of your capture card or when you're doing the display capture. This will allow you to run the max refresh rate and still have a smooth, stable 60 FPS stream going back out to Twitch. So hope this helped you guys. This is a really good intuitive way to be able to play your games at the max refresh rate and still have a stable, good looking stream. 
hope this guy helped you guys and um if you want to see more content like this be sure to like and hit that subscribe button before you guys leave the video today i would super appreciate it if you guys want to follow myself or true gaming on any of our social media platforms be sure to check all of those links in the description below that's twitch twitter facebook instagram whatever come check us out and hang out i also stream monday wednesday and friday and i would love to see you guys come and hang out with me on stream sometime play a lot of different games like halo destiny division whatever and we talk a lot of tech so come hang out and say hi but guys that about wraps it up for this video i will catch you in the next one we've got plenty more content coming to the channel just like this one uh, i will see you in the next one my shadow out